<laughs> I'm Mike J in your foxhole till I have a seat spin. Sit a pretty ass in his bins behind a dark tent. You in the presence of extravagance. Settle down, Cuban link chillin'. Freezing on my textile, watch match my sentiments. How could you slumber like I gave you number coke in these quotes? Like I'm running numbers, styling with the Jews. Shot slam, hollow cost, busy chasing money, no time for the blues. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Viewology. This is Viewology episode number 17. We appreciate you stopping at the Futuristic YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of not ignoring red flags when it comes to getting into a relationship, a friendship, whatever. Um, that's really related to having a very strong connection, intuition, a very strong relationship with your gut. Feel it right here. Oftentimes, when we get into situations, we like to ignore our gut feelings, hoping that we're wrong, but looking in retrospect after the fact of something happening or tragedy in a relationship, the end of a relationship, whatever the case may be, oftentimes when we look in hindsight, it's always 2020. We realize we saw those red flags when they presented to us, but we wanted to believe that they aren't true. I'm here to tell you that from personal experience, from seeing it in other people's circumstances, whatever, that oftentimes when we do see those red flags or when our gut is telling us something, please do not ignore them. Now, as always, the future is about how you view the future. For, so for me, this is from my perspective. And I'm always welcoming someone to challenge my perspective or my view on things because it's always open for discussion. But this is my perspective on it. So in, from my personal experience, of course, there has been many situations, well, I'm not going to say many situations, but there have been some situations that I've been in where I have seen red flags at the beginning of a relationship or a friendship or whatever, and that relationship ends up becoming toxic. It becomes a nuisance and it becomes debilitating or regressive instead of progressive, and it often has an effect on myself and the other person involved in that relationship that is not healthy. Oftentimes, that can be avoided if we're honest with ourselves, if we're honest with the other person involved, of letting them know up front what we will and what we will not tolerate. If we're able to do that, honestly, um, and from a good place, that can save both parties a lot of time. I'm pretty sure that I've been on the other side of that as well, where someone that I've been in a relationship with, they saw red flags in me too, and realized, from the jump, they're like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to deal with this. But we like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And oftentimes, we like to think that we have the power to change people too. That's another huge mistake in um, not paying attention to red flags. Sometimes those red flags are presented to us. And we like to think that we can change that person when the sad reality is that none of us, none of us, and I mean none of us, have the power to change someone else's actions. All we have is the power to change how we react to someone's actions or what someone does but we do not have the power to change what someone else does so if you see up front in the beginning that there's going to be red flags in this relationship or in this friendship or whatever that you absolutely can't deal with get out of it right away it doesn't have to be it doesn't even have to be done in a malicious or a mean way like ah, i can't i can't stand you get out of my life type thing it doesn't even have to be like that it can just be an upfront and honest thing saying hey there's certain things that I am willing to put up with. There are certain things that I'm not willing to put up with. And unfortunately, some of those things that you're presenting to me, I'm not willing to put up with. So let's just, you know, call it ends right now and go our separate ways. This can be something from as small as leaving socks on the floor. I, I know I'm guilty of that. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, um, if, you know, that, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, I know I do things like that, and I know that for a fact, there's some people out there that just absolutely can't handle that. It drives them nuts, drives them up the wall. So if that's something that you feel like you can't tolerate from your mate, um, then it's best to just nip that in the bud as soon as you see those types of things. Now, I'm not saying be nitpicky and find every small thing that's present in that relationship, but you do have to take inventory within yourself to determine what it is that you're willing to deal with and what you're, what you're not willing to deal with. I know I've, I've said that a couple times, but that really drives that point home. Or it could be as something as big as you pay attention to the way that your partner talks to their parents or talks to their kids if they already have kids. If that's something that you know that you won't be able to tolerate and you feel like that might transcend into, into the way that they talk to you, 
just let it be. Just, just get out of it right now. Save yourself some time. Save yourself some heartbreak. Save that other person some time. Save that other person some heartbreak or heartache. It just might be that you two aren't meant to happen. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You go find that person that, you, that has characteristics or traits that you are willing to put up with. And those red flags that pop up, they might not be a big issue to you. You might be able to stay in that situation and stay in that relationship. But the important part of my message today is to understand the importance of identifying these red flags early on and to not ignore them. If you know for a fact that it's something that you cannot deal with, always listen to your gut. When I think back to situations where my gut told me one thing and I went the other way, looking back now, I realize that I caused myself a ton, a ton of more trouble than I would have had to deal with, um, that I wouldn't have had to deal with had I listened to my gut. So, that's all we're going to talk about today for Viewology 17. Episode 17, like I said, if you disagree with anything that I've said, if you see it a different way, we welcome that over here. We like to engage in discussion that opens up minds. We're free thinkers around here. If you think what I'm saying is absolutely trash or BS, let me know. I want to see it from your perspective too because maybe that can change the way that I see certain things or maybe I can get you to see it from a different perspective as well. I'm not in the business of forcing my views on anyone. All this is just to allow people to see things from multiple perspectives and open up discussion. So we're going to leave it there. Please don't forget to share this with someone if you find it beneficial for yourself. Or if you know someone that can benefit from this, please share it. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the Futuristic YouTube channel. And if you have anything that you want us to talk about, please be sure to send us an email at jacob.joshua8488 at gmail.com or the future at gmail.com. Until next time, we'll see you. Peace out. Subscribe. I actually became passionate about looking at things from a multiple from multiple angles because I know how debilitating that can be. Life again. I'm never going through this again. I'm never falling in love again. I'm never gonna let anybody get close to me. I'm never gonna